The Muslim fishing village of Karinda was one of hundreds of Sri Lankan communities devastated by the 2006 tsunami. Moved by television coverage of the disaster, entrepreneur Philip Bay started a foundation to help the victims. He chose Karinda on the advice of the Sri Lankan government and set about raising funds to rebuild the village's houses. My approach was this was not going to be a traditional disaster relief effort where we go in and make homes really fast and leave. I wanted to treat this like a development project and all the recipients of our housing, I want to treat them as customers. Bay enlisted Japanese architect Shigeru Ban, renowned throughout the world for his work on disaster reconstruction. Ban designed a prototype house using inexpensive, simple and sustainable materials. Compressed earth blocks for the walls with fixtures and fittings of local teak and coconut wood. He followed the strict government guidelines on disaster reconstruction, but tailored his design to meet the particular needs of the community. The government and big organization does the mass production of the, uh, the rebuilding. But some of the minority people does need uh, some particular solution. So this is the first time I uh, work for the Muslim societies. So that before I built the houses, I had a kind of community meeting to find out what has to be carefully done uh, depending on the, the religion. For example, the, 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 we have to separate the man's space and the woman's space. This separation was achieved with folding wooden screens. Other departures from the government-sanctioned layout included a roof court providing open-air living space. Altogether, 45 houses were built on a budget of just $1 million. <laughs> They're very comfortable, they're very open and spacious. They're so good that someday somebody's going to copy them and you're going to see a resort in Sri Lanka with the Shigeru Ban uh, tsunami homes.